In a previous video, I discussed the concept of arbitrage pricing theory, or APT. And I had some equations, and I set them up, and I solved for it, but I didn't show the solution. And I've had a number of comments from people asking how I actually got the solution. So rather than just keep writing in the comments, I thought I'd make a short video showing the solution. The three equations we have are 15 equals A plus 1.0 BI1 plus 0.6 BI2, and I'll call that equation 1. And I have two other equations as well. So if you haven't seen the previous video, I'll provide a link to that. So what you have here is three equations and three unknowns. The three unknowns would be A, BI1, and BI2. So it's really just an algebra problem. We want to solve for this. If we have three equations and three unknowns, we know from algebra we can solve this. So while there's several ways to do it, probably the easiest way is just to do some substitution. So in this case, take one of the equations and solve for A, and then substitute it into the other two equations. So I'm going to use equation 3, and A is going to be equal to 10 minus 0.3 BI1 minus 0.2 BI2. And I'm going to substitute this for the A in the other two equations. So here I have the first equation, and if I substitute it, this in, and I just rearrange terms, combine terms, combine the BI1s and the BI2s, I get the um, equations 15 equals 10 plus 0.7 BI1 plus 0.4 BI2. And I'm going to call that equation 1A. I do the same for the second equation. Again, I just substitute this in for what was A here, and then I combine the terms, and I get 14 equals 10 plus 0.2 BI1 plus 0.8 BI2, and I'll call that equation 2A. So now I want to eliminate something else. And one way to do that would be to multiply equation 1A by 2. And the reason I chose 2 is, let's look here. This is 0.8, and this is 0.4. So if I multiply this equation by 2, I'll multiply everything in the equation by 2, this will be 0.8 as well. And then I can subtract one equation from the other and get rid of the bi tubes. So that's what I've done. I've taken equation 1a and multiplied it by 2. So now I have 30 equals 20 plus 1.4 bi1 plus 0.8 BI2, I'll call that equation 1B. And I still have the same equation 2A, and I'm going to subtract this equation from this equation, right? So 30 minus 14 is 16, 20 minus 10 is 10, 1.4 minus 0.2 is 1.2 BI1, and 0.8 minus 0.8 is going to be 0. And then I just solve for BI1. I subtract 10 from both sides, so I get 6 equals 1.2 BI1, divide both sides by 1.2, I get BI1 equals 5. And then I just substitute this number um, back into one of the equations. I'll take uh, equation 2A. So now I have 14 equals 10 plus 0.2, but I substitute the 5 in, and plus 0.8 BI2. Right, so this is going to be 1. Again, I arrange terms. I get 14 minus 10 minus 1 divided by 0.8. Right, so I get uh, 14 minus 10 is 4. So I get 3 divided by 0.8. Turns it out that BI2 is equal to 3.75. Okay, finally, I need to solve for A. And so I can pick any of the original three equations. I'll use equation 2. And I get 14 equals A plus 0.5 times 5, because that's what we solved for B, BI1, plus 1.0 times 3.75, which is the solution to BI2. And if I solve for A, I get 7.75. So the final equation is that the expected return of I is 7.75 plus 5 times B, BI1 plus 3.75 times BI2. So I, I hope that's a, a little bit helpful 
So for the people who are sort of looking at the at the previous video and a little bit confused about how I got to the solution, it's really just a, a lot of algebra.